Many decades ago, Jim Weinstein and many of his colleagues in spying around the country uh, got together and realized there was not strong evidence uh, behind surgery for most spine problems. Uh, and as a result, they decided to, to do SPORT, right? again, the Spine Patient Outcomes Research Trial. Uh, what that trial was, uh, basically compared surgical to non-operative outcomes for the, the three most common uh, lumbar spine disorders, which are disc herniation, spinal stenosis, and degenerative spondylolisthesis. The latter is when one vertebra slides forward relative to the one below. Um, and what they did is they both uh, they did a randomized trial where people flipped a coin basically and either got surgery or non-operative care or the patients chose surgery or non-operative care and then they compared the, the outcomes. And as it turned out for all three disorders, uh, surgery was very much favored. Um, and again, coming from Dartmouth, a place where we oftentimes uh, suggest non-operative care, at least initially, uh, some people were surprised that this was the, the outcomes of this. Uh, study, but I think the the key to the the fact that surgery did better than non-operative treatment was that we had a very strict inclusion criteria. So in other words, if you had in order to get into the disc herniation arm of this study, you needed to have a disc herniation, you needed to have symptoms down your leg for at least six weeks, and you had to have imaging consistent with your symptoms. We're not talking about people who just have a disc bulge and some back pain. These are people who have clear, uh, ridiculous symptoms or pain going down their leg and a disc herniation that goes along with it. And what sport showed is that if you have that problem and your symptoms persist at least six weeks, then there's a definite benefit from surgery and that benefit lasts right out to four years. Uh, likewise, for spinal stenosis and degenerative spondylolisthesis, uh, surgery had an advantage out to four years, again, for only patients who met very strict inclusion criteria. Um, so I think if if you want to look at sport uh, and take one message away from it is that uh, when surgery is indicated, uh, the results are very good um, and they're, it's favored over non-operative treatment. Uh, however, probably 90% of patients with back problems would not meet those inclusion criteria and are probably better off treated without surgery. Mm -hmm.